Oh, that's a welcome ball. No, I'm just kidding. That would just be creepy if we did that the whole time. <laughs> but hey, guys, welcome back. It's time for Japan Crate. It says happy holidays on it. That's nice of them. Uh, it's really cute. Look at him with the reindeer and then all the stuff. So if you've been with us before, you know that we got the biggest box. So we're going to go tier by tier so that you know what you get depending on what tier you buy. So we're going to start with the mini box. So we're not gonna open them, but just so you guys know, this is like a caramelly popcorn kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's super effing delicious, and it's definitely one of our favorite things. And we happen to be going on a 10 hour flight this weekend. So. This is probably going with us. Yay. These are really, really good. These are like one of my favorite things out of this box. Yeah, every time they give them to us, we're like, bless it be. This is the chocolate Christmas umaibo. I'm super excited. All right, let's open it. I've never had an umaibo that I've liked so far, so. Look at, the cat's like so into it, and the reindeer is like, oh God. Thank you. Nope, this is not making me want it anymore. Oh God. The corn is really present in the umaibo. And so corn and chocolate is kind of weird. It tasted like buttered kernels of corn that you poured chocolate on. Yes, that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah. So this is the Princess Disappearing's treasure. I have no idea what that means. It means it's gonna be so tasty it's gonna disappear. We'll see. Oh. Well, there it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poo, it's gone. <laughs> Don't mind the dog fur. <laughs> it didn't come with that. What's in, what is it's it? It's jam. That is dry. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a Pop-Tart though. Oh, it does taste like a Pop-Tart. Like an uncooked Pop-Tart. Up next, we got a chocolate waffle. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a waffle cone, but I don't like waffle cones. Yeah, fun story. So we just celebrated our fifth anniversary not that long ago. We were down on the river walk in San Antonio and I wanted some ice cream. So I asked her, do you want ice cream? She said, yeah, sure, I'll just eat off whatever you get. So I said, okay, I'm gonna get a chocolate waffle cone. Are you okay with that? And she's like, yeah, whatever you want. And then I get out there with ice cream and she's like, I'm not eating that. I don't like waffle cones. I don't like cake batter ice cream. I and it's tried melting. it. After you got a cup, I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> I got about like 10 seconds down the river walk and my hand's like, mm, you know. <laughs> So I was like, no, this is not gonna fly. I grew up in Florida, so I know better than to get a cone when it's hot outside. Well, I grew up in Ohio, where we went out in the middle of a blizzard to pick up some graders. That doesn't make any sense to me. This is World of Stars. It. What'd yours taste like? I don't know. Mine tasted like pure sugar. Mine tasted like pure sugar too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it tastes similar to rock candy. That's what it tastes like. Oh, it tastes like rock candy. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was the mini box. Um, if you purchased the original box, you're about to get everything that we just ate and then also the next five items. First up, chocolate potato chips. Uh oh. That potato smell is strong. Oh, wow. What is that? The potato to? smell is strong with this one. Ooh, it's like thick. Look how thick it is. Yeah, but then look on the other side, there's like sugar on the, like this side that you're oh. looking at, but let, let them see. I don't think they can see it. Oh. Sugar. Okay, break that in half. Okay, yeah, good idea. <laughs> look, we're learning. Oh God. All right, we're trying it. All right, here we go. No. There's a lot of different flavors happening here. At first, I was like, is this Cocoa Puffs? Yes, and then all of a sudden it was like, no. cocoa flavored corn flakes. Yeah, but then, it was just a potato. It was potato. This next one is a do-it-yourself kit. And therefore we are not gonna do it. Not doing it. I think that they didn't give us the family pack. Oh yeah, it says now everyone can whistle. <gasps> this is it. This didn't give us the family pack. And there's enough to share. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, this is supposed to be the family pack of the Whistle Ramane thingy. So, if you saw the Munch Pack video, here's the thingy. And. So, <gasps> where we got these things, it's the same thing, but Ramane flavored instead of cola flavored. Which are both equally disgusting. Yeah, so we're not gonna try this because it's Romney. Same thing. Go watch the other video. Next up is the bane of my existence, the long, long cola gum. I don't know how this keeps happening. We're gonna try it. No, why? Because we didn't try it the last time. Oh. Smell that oh, I could smell strong it. cola flavor. Oh yeah. It doesn't even taste like cola. Much better cola call to do. Oh wait, there it is. Wait, that's not the worst thing I've ever had. And last but not least, this thing, whatever it is. Who knows if it's upside oh. down. It was upside down, this thing. Like they were so incredibly not helpful in telling us what it was because it says it's a Christmas fugashi. What is that? I don't know. Let's read on. Traditional Japanese snack. Okay, but what is it? It says Merry Christmas. Let's find out together. <laughs> it's a brick. Hey guys, Jessica from the future here checking in and letting you guys know what a fugashi is. According to UrbanDictionary.com, a fugashi, it's a small candy in Japan which is very cheap and it's basically baked gluten with lots and lots of sugar. Dude 1. Hey Jim, how is the fugashi you bought? Dude 2. It's quite sugoi. And oh my. Dude 1. Shut up, you weeb. <laughs> It smells like nothing. There's literally no smell coming off of that item. That sounds hollow. It's a wafer! It's not a wafer, it's an umayabo. Oh, I've never had this happen in my mouth before. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go with a cola flavored or maybe chocolate flavored. I think it's supposed to be syrup. It tastes like burnt sugar. Yeah, and it kind of like it. So you took a bite of it and it tasted kind of like a wafer texture, but then it just started dissolving in your mouth and it was just like, I am sugar but I know it tastes good. So we're not off to a good start so far, but if you guys purchased the premium box like we did, then you're about to get everything that we have tried so far and everything that we're about to try. I don't know if this is good or not. So here we go. This is the bonus item. What it's is it? The pizza flavored potato rings. Hey, why, why? Why is pizza synonymous with Christmas? Maybe pizza is a special dish in Japan for Christmas time because it's so expensive. Yeah, I was like considering it was like $30 for a pizza over there. Are we trying this? Let's give you a try because it sounds terrible. Nah, I try it. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Yay! One, two, three. That's just like every other potato ring I've ever had in my life. What magical thing can you taste that I cannot? The nastiness of that seasoning. That's nasty. Oh, nope, there it is. My first one was totally plain. It's like the, um, everything that's like pizza flavored except for pizza. Detective Koala. He's like the detective, but he's also the villain. He's so cute. They should be vanilla, I think. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that smell was. I don't think it was vanilla. 
I don't know what it was, but it was good. It says uh, it's a secret flavor. Maybe like a sweet cream or something? I don't know. It's basically oh, yeah. vanilla. Chocolate okay. bowl. Yep, it's a chocolate bowl. I think they mean chocolate ball. It's a chocolate bowl. Well, in the packaging it says chocolate ball. It's definitely a bowl. It says right here that it's a bowl. Chocolate bowl. Chocolate bowl. <laughs> That had peanuts. It's a good thing we're not allergic. <laughs> it's really good. This is a cream cake, chocolate and milk. We've had it before? Yeah, we've tried this before. I'm pretty sure we liked it. No, it was dry. We got the Dragon Ball Z gum. Yay! We got this same exact one before. We're not trying bubble gum. We ain't trying no bubble gum on this channel. We don't got time for that. Fake Kit Kat. What? It's not a real Kit Kat. That's not Kit Kat's thing. Wait, it's a roll cake strawberry cream. This is a Kit Kat, all right? It says it's a roll cake. Look at this, it's a Kit Kat. Open it. Well, that it smells like crayon. Crayon? It smells like crayon to me. Wait, how are you pronouncing that? Crayon? 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 I have literally been living with you for so long. <laughs> Why? You never had to say the word crayon. Yes, I have. When? I've needed crayons before. Why, well, hello, sugar. <sighs> oh. Hey, it does taste like a crayon. Crayon? All right, next. It's gum. It's more gum, but this one has cute things on the outside. I love it when they send you the gum and it's just like, I am a white sheet of questionable item. It's like, you can make a note right here. And then here are the stickers. Look how cute they are. Obviously, I have no idea how much it looks. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> it flew away. <laughs> that was really bad gum. It doesn't matter how cute you look. If you taste like <laughs> on the inside, then you're a <laughs> Alright, last but not least. This is the Jelly Sparkling Star Kirby White Grape Soda. It does need to be shook. It needs to be shook five times. Five. One. Two. Oh. Oh, you can just see the jelly. I like it. Mm. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. <laughs> oh. I like it. It was like drinking soda water with some really, really, I did not add enough water to this jello flavored grape. All right, well guys, that was the Japan crate of December 2018. Last Japan crate of the year, woo. Okay guys, so from us to you, we're wishing you a happy holiday and an awesome new year. We hope that you guys have a wonderful time and we're gonna miss you and be safe, be happy, and most importantly, be you. And we hope that you guys have a magical day, and we'll see you later. Bye.